kid bashing? Yeah. A while ago, I released an asset pack, and what I noticed from people who bought the pack that they are not utilizing the full potential of the pack. But I've seen this way of working not only with my asset pack, but with other packs as well. And then it reminded me that I was that way too. So I purchased a product after seeing the ad with the amazing renders and the big movie credits, but somehow you are not getting the same results. And suddenly you feel cheated and you start hitting your pillow very hard and then you leave a bad review and telling the creator that he sucks and you want your money back. So what if I told you that you're the one who sucks? You are looking at these assets like final products, but you should think about them as tools and materials. There are many different kit bash packs out there, but I'm going to use mine this time to show you what you can do with it. Also, you can purchase these kit bash packs and 3D assets on sites like Blender Market, ArtStation, Flip Normals, CG Trader, and many more. So here's all the 29 assets from the Cyberpunk Slums asset pack. Link in the description below. And this is how a lot of people use the assets, which is fine, but you always end up with the same building and the same results. So here are some new objects that I created with the same assets. You can use them as a collection instance to create some new environment props. As you can see, they all look apart because I made them from the same basic assets. And if we disassemble the object, you clearly can see that I used the same basic 3D assets and just play with the scale a bit and maybe delete some parts that I don't need. For example, here we have the scaffolding object that was made only with five small parts from the pack. You can see that basically it's created mostly just from the pipe asset. And the cables were created with bezier curves and a simple dark material. Let me summarize it for you. You just need to be more creative and think a little bit out of the box. Imagine playing with Legos. You always start with basic small parts, but you make new ones from the basic ones and in the end you can create anything with Legos. And kit bashing is the same principle. Just imagine what you can do with a couple of different packs. The possibilities are endless. If you still don't believe me, just look at these two artworks that I've created with the pack using kit bashing. So here's the main building from the artworks, and it's made from the new objects that I created at the beginning. So basically I just scattered everything a couple of times, and I made a new collection from one building, and copied it a couple of times to create a bigger building. And the building shape is just a simple cube that is modified with a displacement texture to create more details. So yeah, that's basically it. It's really simple. Just be more creative and gather awesome reference images and get to work. So yeah, I really appreciate it if you subscribe and like the video. I plan to grow this channel, so maybe we can create something cool here. Who knows? Till next time, I'm out. Monster.